All right, Antiquities. It is the third set in Magic the Gathering. It's focused on artifacts, so you have a lot of artifact synergy, powerful artifacts, and cards that interact with artifacts in different ways. So a couple funny things would be Armageddon Clock. It's six mana. You give your draw step. Armageddon Clock deals damage equal to the number of Doom Counters on it to each player, which you put Doom Counter on during your upkeep. Very funny to burn. Artifact Blast. It counters an artifact. Ashnod's Altar. Sacrifice Creature. Add double colorless. Very powerful card. You can play it a lot. Atog. He facilitates an artifact sacrifice deck. You sacrifice an artifact, give him plus two, plus two. Candle Opera of Tano's very powerful combo card in modern formats. X and tap to untap target lands. Circle Protection Artifacts prevents artifact damage. So you can pair that with your uh, Doomsday Clock to prevent the damage that you would take from it. Citanel Druid is artifact hate. So if you know your opponents are going to play artifacts, uh, whenever they cast an artifact spell, this gets plus one, plus one. Very strong. Crumble, destroy target artifact. One mana gonna be great we want that cursed rack now this is part of a combo called eight rack so in the center of the battlefield choose an opponent that player's maximum hand size is four that's gonna pair well with a card we're gonna see later detonate destroy target artifacts with mana value x golgothian cyclex it is another one of those cards where if you use it you can destroy all cards that were in the certain expansion so this one destroys all antiquities if you pay one and tap it Millstone, the origin of mill, the reason why the word mill even exists. Tap two, tap it, target player mills two cards. Mistress Factory, it's either a land or you can pay one, it becomes a 2-2 two -two assembly worker artifact creature. Very, very powerful having a creature land. And also tap it to some target tap it to target assembly worker. Creature gets plus one plus one until it turns. So if you're playing multiple, you can make your assembly workers bigger. Mistress Workshop, tap three, add three. Very strong for artifacts. Ornithopter, zero mana, zero two. Such a good card, it's a blocker. It's seen in Pioneer with the Is It Scissors decks. Just such a great thing, you wanna get a couple of those. Power Artifact, very powerful combo piece. Artifact activate abilities cost two less to activate. You see this all the time in Commander, and if we see any good artifacts that we wanna use with it, we're using it. Rocket Launcher, pay two. Rocket Launcher deals one damage to any target. Destroy Rocket Launcher at the beginning of the next end step. Activate only if you've controlled Rocket Launcher continuously since the beginning of your most recent turn. So if you pair this with Power Artifact, it is a free kill. Very fun. I kind of want to get that off. Sage of Latnam. Tap two, sacrifice an artifact, draw a card. Shatterstorm, destroy all artifacts. Strip Mine, destroy target land, and it is also a land. Incredible card. So he's playing... In Legacy, it's just so good. Su Chi, when it dies, adds 4 mana, so 4 mana 4-4 four, four for colorless. We're playing this card even if we're not really using it for its effect, because it's a 4 mana 4-4. Four, four. So, the Rack is a very powerful card. It is burn damage, the less cards your opponent has in their hand. So you pair that with the other card that I was mentioning earlier, where they have a hand size of 4, and you just burn them out of the game because they can't do anything because they have so few cards in their hand. It's actually a very funny rogue strategy in Modern as well. Transmute Artifact. Sacrifice an Artifact. Play an Artifact from your deck with less mana value. Triskelion. Six mana. Enters the battlefield with three plus one plus ones. Remove a plus one plus one counter. Deal three damage. And then of course we got Tron. Mine, Power Plant, and uh, Tower. If you control the other two, add three mana when you tap it. So strong. So very strong. And I think that is it for the cards we want to play out of here. So let's move on to that opening and see if we get anything good. I kind of want to get some Atog so we can do a sort of like artifact sacrifice strategy. I, as much as I like the black white, now that it's been neutered for two weeks in a row, mm, I don't know if I want to keep doing it. I want to do something more fun than just normal beatdown. All right, 36 Antiquities Pack boosters. Let's see what we can get. So right off the bat, we got Urza's Power Plant. Very good to see that. We want the Tron for me to try and go for our artifact strategy. Ooh, we got an Ornithopter. Very good. I want a lot of these. There's the power plant, one more card closer to Tron. And also Crumble, very good for destroying artifacts. There's another the blasts and a power plant and a mine. So we do have Tron, so that's great. Oh, and another power plant. I forgot that power plant and mine and art, and they all just have different arts, and it's very cool. Ooh, 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 ooh. We got Suchi and we got Strip Mine. Very good. There's Atog. Oh, that's gonna be fun to play with. That's going to be really fun to play with. Might Stone's probably going to be pretty good because it makes all attacking creatures get plus one, plus zero. Oh. It affects both of the players, but that shouldn't be too big of a deal. Ooh, second is Strip Mine. That'll be really good if they're playing Tron. 
And our third Atog. I think this Artifact Sack deck's coming together. Priest of Yawgmoth will be really good if we go the red-black route, which I think we will since we have the uh, um, two of the red-black dual lands and another Ornithopter in our fourth Atog. All right, I'm really hoping... Ooh, Candelabra of Tano, so that'll be really good with um, Tron. You can essentially make infinite mana with that. I don't know if we can do anything with infinite mana, but it's funny. And we got a Rax. So that's pretty cool. I don't think we have enough so far to justify making the deck, so maybe not this time. Kind of hoping I see a Cyclex or a Power Artifact soon. Ooh, Mishra's Workshop. Yeah, we're definitely making an Artifact Sack deck. Dude, we're swimming in Atog right now. It's great. All right, and that's it. I think we are pretty successful with our pulls today. I'm incredibly excited to see what I come up with, so I'll see you guys in the deck building. All right, so this week we're making a funny deck. I don't know how well this is going to do, but I'm very interested in seeing what it will do. That was redundant. That was redundant. Anyways, let's take a look. So we got four Ornithopters. It's a free creature. Flying, zero two. Very good. Atog, this is one of our main plays. So we play Atog and we sacrifice an artifact. It's plus two, plus two until end of turn. Very strong. Juzam Jim, so four mana, five fives. So very strong. Keldon Warlord, so we got a lot of those Ornithopters and a lot of lower cost creatures. So we play him as power and toughness are equal to the number of non wall creatures I control out of a single wall. So we have like all four Ornithopters out. This guy's a four four. He's pretty cool. Primal Clay enters my. Add it to enter the battlefield, it becomes my choice of a 3-3 artifact, a 2-2 artifact with flying, or a 1-6 wall. Its flexibility is going to be very useful, because I plan on stalling out a little bit. Suchi, 4-4-4-4. Four, 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 four. When it dies, at 4. Beautiful. Uh, the golem is a 6-mana 4-6. It's not great, but it's an artifact creature. Brass Man, he's a 1-mana one 1-3, one which is a very good defender for early game. And then he doesn't untap during my untap step. And I have to pay one to untap him, but that's okay, because we're going to be generating a lot of mana, and you'll see. For the Ur Graders, it's a 2-mana two 2-3, two, it's just so strong. Priest of Yawgmoth, he adds a lot of mana, which we're going to be needing for something you'll see soon. Un Unulet, it is a 3-mana 2-2, two, two. when it dies I gain 2, very good for stalling and gaining life. Wall of Spears, I lied about the wall thing, but this thing is 1st strike 2-3 two, three for 3, which is very strong. Yawgmoth Demon is flying 6-6, six, six, first strike. And then I can sacrifice an artifact at my upkeep. Ashnaw's Transmogrant, one mana, I can tap it, and then I put a plus one, plus one counter on target non-artifact, that becomes an artifact. So, yeah, just good for distributing counters. Candelabra, untap X lands, this will become important later. Soul Ring, it's Soul Ring. Howling Mind, some extra draws, Ashnaw's Alter to make even more mana. Icy Manipulator, one mana, tap target creature, artifact, or land. Very good. Thanos' Coffin, it's an oubliette. When I play it, I exile a creature until this thing is untapped. Oubliette, uh, phases. Lightning Bolt, one mana, three damage. Beautiful removal, beautiful damage, just everything you could ever want. Terror, removes a non-black, non-artifact creature. This might be a bad call with all the artifacts running around, we'll see. Fireball, we're putting in Fireball now. We're making so much mana off of all of our artifacts and the Tron that we pulled that I think Fireball is going to be very good. If we get out Tron, we get out Ten Candelabra, that's a way to trigger Fireball along with all the other ways we have just generating a bajillion mana. Demonic Tutors will help us find whatever combo pieces we need. Badlands is a dual land, of course I'm running it. Bizarre Baghdad, draw two, discard three, it's Graceful Charity. Uh, City of Brass gives us any mana color we need. Mistress Factory, it becomes a 2-2 assembly worker, and I can tap Mistress Factory to make that assembly worker get plus one, plus one until end of turn. It's pretty cool, it's a free creature. Then, of course, we got Tron, Urza's Factory, Power Plant, and Swamp. You get one of each, you get all three of these on there, you make seven mana, and then you go boom. Hang on, I put in Factory, I didn't put in Tower, that's wrong. This should be a Tower, not a Factory. My bad. My bad. But yeah. So that is the deck um let's see how it does all right and we're here with week three antiquities and i am actually in the loser circle versus sam this week uh, how's it going sam how's it feel to be in the loser circle it feels the same bud all right like i'm honestly king of the loser so i feel at this point that you might be so you ready to roll number of sides how many sides are we doing 20 yeah Oh, oh, 
I rolled a 15. You go. The one thing um, yeah, I'll go first. Tonight, I'll choose roll. play. All right. Draw seven, baby. I just realized I have not full screened. Give me a second. <laughs> set your there video we go. up. Oh, I can no, see. I, I can up. see and all I like of that your opening cards. hand. Okay, this is Ooh. interesting. I'm a happy boy. I don't know what I don't know what any of these are. I'm keeping. I'll... I'm keeping as well. Okay. You pulled up pretty spicy decks. So I'm gonna open with an island into a pass. Your turn. All right. I'll draw. Let's see here. We will start with a city of brass into an ornithopter, and then your turn. Oh, ooh. That's right, baby. What are you going to do against this 0-2 artifact? I'm going to bring in Mishra's factory. Ooh. And question, it's still a summoning sickness despite it being a land, correct? Correct. Yeah, that factory is yeah. sick. No, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. Oh, think. so if I turn it into a creature, let me it's check. Let me, let me Google this. Yeah, I, fuck, I haven't played with land creatures. I do know, apparently, is it standard that's having the problem with the. Oh, you can't lose Yeah, it the has, it has summoning sickness. Okay. What was the question you're asking? It wasn't a question, it was just a statement of standard is the one where. It's the Faceless Haven plus some other card that makes it so you can't lose the game unless someone has land destruction. Probably. Nah. That sounds like There's fun. some stanky combo about. But either way, so... Pass. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. I'll play a Swimp Swam, and I'll tap two, taking one from the City of Brass... And I will play my Atog. Ooh, Look at that it's boy. Like sacrifice an artifact. Give him, what, plus one, plus one? Plus two, plus two till the end of turn? Yeah, he's sexy. He's hot. He's veiny. I'll pass to you. <laughs> veiny is a word. Look at that grin. Look at that greedy grinner. That he be. That he be. Okay. Now you seeing what I'm doing? <laughs> so I'm going to play an Island. Yeah. And I'm going to tap Mishra's factory if I remember how to tap. It's D? No, fuck. What's the hot? Like, how do you tap something? It's double click. I just double click. Okay. Oh, Into okay. the rack. And I choose Oh, D. baby. Sam's whipping his rack out. And then, bitch boy. Double tap both islands. What's this time walk? We're taking another turn. Ooh. Oh, you're playing like eight rack. Draw a card, baby. Then we're going to play an Urza's Tower. Oh, and you got Tron. Beautiful. And. Tap four to bring out. Primal Clay as a 2-2 two, two flyer. 2-2 two, two flyer? Yeah, and I think with some shenagling, I can actually give it the stats it needs. I don't know how to Shenagle add flying good. to it. Though. Well, it's got 2-2 two, two right now. We, we'll know it's a flyer. Yeah, I mean, look at that There guy. we go. He looks like he can fly. Well, I want to be fancy. Oh. And then pass. All right. In your upkeep, Untap. you have more Draw than three cards. Lucky bastard. Yes, I do, now. and I intend it to stay that way. Speaking of things, I'm going to play Montagna. Montagna. Tap three, taking one from City of Brass. I'm going to play another Atog. <laughs> He's a sexy babe. Now there's two of them. I love him. That they are. I'll move to combat, and I'll swing at you for one of my Atog. I'll take it. All right. Boop. Off to you, good sir. Okay. Untap that shit. Draw that shit. See, I think this deck is much more funny than last time. Ooh, ooh what's this? It's Urza's Mine. Ooh. Urza's Minecraft? And we're gonna tap one to play Ancestral Recall and draw myself three cards. Oh, oh well. <laughs> he, 
You think <laughs> you think Urza likes to listen to uh, uh, Captain Sparkle's parodies? Mm-hmm. Who doesn't like to listen to Captain Sparkle's parodies? You've you've got a point. You've got Music a point. Music has peaked twice. Once with uh, LMFAO. Uh, sorry for party Into rocking. Suchi. And then once for what is it like officially Ooh, like the Suchi. Fallen Kingdom trilogy or whatever? Is that what you call it? Quadrilogy. 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 Excuse Quadrilogy. Me. And I swing at you with Primal Clay. I'll take the two. Oop. All right. Yeah, because, yeah, Fallen Kingdom, the Captain Sparkles thing, is it a trilogy? Yeah, it's quadrilogy. I remember quadrilogy, two, at least. All right, I'm going to play Badlands. Mm, fuck. Can't wait for the Minecraft cover of WAP. It's got to exist. Huh. But what would WAP yeah, I'm stand for? I'm a predicament that I knew would happen, which sucks. Um, Warnass Pickaxe. There we go. If it isn't the uh, consequences to my actions. Well, 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 Mr. Atog, let's see what you got. <laughs> Dang, this sucks. I'll tap three for a wall of spears. It's a two, three with first strike. Sick. Your turn. Okay, untap. Draw. I swear, if you assemble Tron... I would never. I hate you. What's no. this? We have mana now, baby? <laughs> so I tap one of my Tron pieces to play a Millstone. And then let's tap Urza's Tower and an Island to play another fucking Primal Clay. I see. And we will make him another two-two flyer. I'm a bit, I'm a bit of a predicament here, aren't I? Okay. Next up, we're gonna pay two to mill you for two. Yep. Let's see. Oh, there goes my Tron piece. <laughs> oh no. That is a meaty suck. I'll swing at you with my flying primal play. I'll take the two. And then pass. Alright. I'll draw for turn. <sighs> I'll play another Ornithopter. Dude, I love Ornithopter. Favorite card. It's so good. It just does everything you'd ever want. I'm in such a bad position that I'm going to have to play right into your rack now. I have, like, the helicopter. Lizzie Ooh. Power Plant. Play into Daddy's rack. Right, they were from Dune. That's what I was thinking of. What the oh, or yeah, ornithopters. ornithopters? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's literally. I think that's probably literally a Dune reference. Wait, is Dune like canon movie. in the Magic Gathering universe? I mean, I don't think so. Not yet, are, at least. Are there giant like sandworms? There's got to be giant yeah. sandworms in Magic. There are giant sandworms. Yeah. So pretty Although, much everything you would expect. Is there a spice equivalent? For Magic Gathering, like a card that is powerful but makes you dependent upon that card. It's called Blue Mana. Yeah, pretty much. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see. Atagagog. Yeah. Agog Magog. Okay, I think this is the play. I'm gonna tap one, two, three. Four, five, taking one. And we're going to play Fireball on your Suchi. Okay. And does that deal enough damage? Yeah, it deals four. Okay. You kill Suchi. I paid five mana for it. I gained four mana. Oh, no. Yep, I don't think you can use anything with it yep. right now. And I think we already agreed in a previous episode that there is no mana burn. Correct. Does that mean you can't swing against both my eight well, Honestly. Was, like, when Suchi was designed, was the add four mana meant to be a penalty? No, it was... Because it was a, Not... It, maybe. I don't know. Because... It seems like it'd be really good. Like, there is... There was a card that was designed with mana burden being a penalty. Like, it was like a fire braid or something where it keeps giving you red mana. Yep. But then it became really good once the mana burn mm -hmm. went away. Yeah, so I... Anyway, I'm swinging at you for two with my Atogs. Okay, two Atogs coming at me. They're one twos, ooh. 
I'll take him. All right. And then it is off to you, my good sir. Oh, okay. You still have three cards in hand. You got a lot you can do yet. Strip mine. Ah. Now you can keep me off Tron. And I will destroy your Badlands. That is actually fine. That's the one I care about the least. They're not good lands. They still have both my colors. Then I'll do Urza's Tower Island for a Jade Statue. Ooh, ooh. Pay two to make an artifact creature during only during combat. Then I'm going to tap Urza's Mind to mill you for two. Yep. Uh, we lost an Urza's Tower. There goes one piece of Tron. And we lost a Swamp. A lot of lands I'm losing. That sucks, bro. That's okay. And then I will swing at you with both clays for four in the air. I'll take the four. Okay. And the nine. And with that, I pass. All right, my turn. Tap. Draw for turn. Oh, wow, that's completely useless. Sorry to hear that, bro. Also, a rack, baby. I'm going to swing at you with... Oh, yep, rack. So you would have taken that upkeep, damage. right? Yeah, you would have taken two because it was before the draw. Yep. All right. I'm just going to go straight to combat. Two Atogs. Yep. Tappers is power plant to make Jade Statue of... Is that 3-6? Yeah, 3-6 artifact creature. Um, and then yeah, I'll tap will... my island to make Mitra's Factory a 2-2. Two, two. And I'll block one Atog okay. each. Um, I will sacrifice Wall of Spears to make the one that is being blocked by the J by the Mishra's Factory into a 3-4. Okay. And then this one will die, and then the Mishra's Factory will die. Sounds good. Forgot about Mishra's Factory, and I guess that will pass to you. Okay, and Jade Statue is not a creature. Untap. No wrong. Play a Mishra's Factory. <laughs> Urza's yep. Tower, Island, Jade Statue, yep. Urza's Mine, Mill 2. There goes my Brass Man and my uh, Lightning Bolt. Brass Man, come together with your hands. Save no, me. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get copyright claimed. GMC for my incoming. Okay, Urza's power plant to turn that jade statue into a creature, and then swing with three. Let's see here. Block the two in the air with my ornithopters, then I'll take the three. Okay. And then ornithopter dead. Ornithopter the combat dead. jade statue goes back there. And then I'll pass. The rack deals one whole damage. Beep. Just giving you a nutty squeeze. Death by rack. Mm. <sighs> Nixon galaxy brain mode right now. Yeah, I got to get up. That was my hand. Those don't work. Oh no. Yeah, non artifact, and this is artifact tech. Mm -hmm. God, I lose. I feel, oh my Woo! god, I actually won. Holy shit. You did it, Sam. You finally won the game. <laughs> Sam put together a competent deck, finally. And you're about Good to job, go up Sam. against my highly incompetent deck. Get ready. <laughs> oh, but Tom, you could still win. I know. I, I, I acknowledge the possibility, but I'm a little scared of what I've seen. All right, and here we are with the final match of Tom versus Sam. This is Sam's first time in the winner's circle. Let's see if he can actually win a week. Your ass okay. is grass, and I'm about to mow it. My turn on the play. I'm going to play a strip mine and pass. Damn. <laughs> Ooh. Well, get ready Ooh. for this. I'm gonna play a planes card. Yo. And then someone's got colorful yeah, mana. Pass. Uh, okay. Wait, how do I pass? Oh, it's the bottom. It's the giant. Wait, there you go. 
Yeah, it's a button that says pass. So yeah, well, you passed you passed for me, so I got confused. I'm going to play in Urza's power plant and pass. I'm going to play an island. Oh, wait. I got to draw still. Sorry. And in response to that, can I tap strip mine and destroy island, or does he is he able to tap it first? Can you tap right now? Like, I mean, I'm asking Nick, is there room to me to respond to destroy his island before he can tap it? Um. Uh, no, he'll still get the mana if you respond to him tamping it, I think. No, I mean before he, like, can I respond to him playing it? It's not your turn, bitch. Uh, because wouldn't it not technically? Oh, yeah, he'll well, be able to put then tapping the it on land the land would be on the stack. Yeah. Yeah, the land would be on the stack. Okay. So it wouldn't be out yet. Never mind. Well, I'm gonna Strip tap. mine's not a reactive dick move. I'm gonna tap it anyways to bring out my merfolk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of the pearl trident. Um, and then that will be the end of my turn. Okay. I'll draw. Oh, hey, before we continue our game, I'm going to send something incredibly cursed to our group chat. Okay. okay. Take a little, I'm going to play pause. a Mishra's Factory. Like, oh, it's bad. And then pass. There you go. Wait, hang on. My phone's being slow. Oh, I'm waiting for it. Yeah, you've really built this up here, Nick. Come on. Enjoy. Oh. Hmm. Oh. That's a good it's Ted Cruz. That's a good crossover. The crossover no one expected. Dude, dream for president. <laughs> Prescribe every kid normal <laughs> pills. <laughs> he, the thing is, it, in 12 years, if he runs, he'd probably win. Which sucks. Anyway, I see we got a we got a, a merfolk. All right, I'm going to bring in another island. Tap tap. Boom! Big fucking turtle time. Yo, it's Turtus time. Are you ready? Okay. Wait, did I say Turtus? He's Sicko mode. Turtus time. He's, he's gonna be tapped, but that's only because. Well, it doesn't matter. And then I'm gonna yeah. swing with my merfolk. I take Wait, one. Why would he be tapped? Yeah, you don't Wait, tap for summoning sickness. Yeah, I know. I was. Yeah, that's kind of just shenanigany. Yeah, okay. whatever. It's fine. Draw. The face, when no mana of the color you want. Also, I just actually hit my girlfriend in the face with the whooper when I was trying to get her Why attention. Why did they call it okay. Melvin when... Oh. Are you committing domestic abuse on video? Suchi! Yeah. Suchi yep. mama! Pass. Alright. One of these days I'll draw an island and your fucking life will be over. One of these days. Do, 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 uh -huh. Let me know if it stays in. cold or if it's gonna be like melty and sad. Oh, it always stays pretty Ooh, good. Actually, fucking war elephant. Bring it in, my elephant. Banding. It's got banding. Oh boy, oh boy, elephant time. I don't know what banding does anymore. I honestly don't remember. But can it stand up to the might of Suchi? Probably not. But I pass. Regardless. Okay. Untap a. Da da da. Ornithopter. Oh, damn. No. Oh, damn. Sacrifice strip land right? to destroy your island. You wouldn't. When the mine is stripped. S 
Sacrifice you, strip land to destroy your island. You've stripped me of my of wetness. Stripped. And then pass. Very well. Oh, I forgot to play a fucking land. Well, that's my fault. Nice job, Ding Dong. I'm bringing in a okay. fucking planes. Oh, he's boy. white. He's white as fuck, boys. <laughs> white. Don't you say it, Tom. Wrath of God's a four mana spell. Do, do, do. Oh, yeah, Fuck I forgot it. about Wrath of God. I don't care. I'm going to oh, play no, he's going, Army of he's Allah. He's as white as he can. Politically incorrect, baby. And Ooh, actually, I'm going to swing with everything. Isn't that... Okay. Except my turtle. Ever... I take that back. Okay. Uh, I block the merfolk with Suchi. Okay. So he dead. And you take And I take four. four. Boop, boop, boop. Wait, Suki. math. Okay. You're at 16, unless you took damage. Oh, yeah, you took damage earlier. Never mind. Yep. All right, and then I pass. I don't know. It rock. appears our ice cream has arrived. I play Urza's power plant. I'll, uh, Army of Allah goes to your graveyard now. All That's right, right. I have to go get my ice cream. You two be funny. Ooh, okay. Oh, what, a, now, what an this, obligation. So, Tom, we can either dox Nick or be racist. We doxed him last time, so let's just be super racist. What's okay. your favorite race? Okay. Mine's probably the uh, uh, Monaco GP. Pretty cool. Mine is mayonnaise. Mayonnaise race? <laughs> I was talking like race cars. Would mayonnaise be a race? Is... Uh, out of all of us, not... <laughs> let's do an allegory between uh, condiments and races. Let's go right ahead. It's a great idea. Hell yeah. Um, and this allegory is going to get so fucking powerful that I'm going to pass turn, baby. That is pretty powerful. And you know what else is really powerful? Speaking of... Wrath of God? Not yet. <laughs> okay. Boom! Sam, the healer. Oh my god, you can prevent one damage that would be dealt to target creature or player. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, oh my god. That's it for me, unfortunately. Because oh, okay. you have that prick. You have that prick, Suchi. Yeah, Su <laughs> Suchi be strong. Suchi be thick. He is thick. He's a little too thick for me right now. Sam will draw an island one of these can't days. Deal with it, and you'll you'll feel the burn when it happens. You got rid of all my islands, and now I don't have any, so it's only fair. What's this? It's Mishra's factory again. Oh boy. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna tap this to make Mishra's factory a two-two assembly worker. Then we're gonna tap Mishra's factory to give it plus one plus one. So it's a three-three factory. And then we swing in Suchi and the factory at you. Okay, I'm gonna block the factory with my turtle. Okay. Oops, what did I do? That will kill the turtle. No, it won't. Oh, no, but no, it he won't. Takes, he has four. Okay. Yeah, because he's on I tap. thought it made him a 1 3, but no, it makes him a 1 4. Okay. Oh. And then um, what are you doing with Suchi? I'm gonna just tank that. And, okay. Um, so take three damage. Samite, Samite healer. No, Samite healer dies and you take nothing. What? No, I'm tapping him because then oh. I prevent the next one damage that would be dealt to target. You can't because summoning sickness. Oh shit, you're right. Yeah. Wait, is that how that works? You can block with him if you want. Yeah, tap abilities are bound by summoning sickness. Okay, well then I'll just take the extra damage. It's fine. Okay. Cool. So does he just and, stay in your hand then? And still Um Mishra's factory, yeah. so when I pass my turn he'll become a creature again or a land again. Okay. Got it. And then it's your turn. Alright. Untap my lands. I'm gonna play my mock sapphire, which you better not get rid eh. No, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Why not? Uh, it's, it's... 
Wait, so... I promise, this deck has islands in it, and I will draw one one of these days. So Suchi can't attack right now because you blocked with him. Right? Correct. Suchi or, can't block right now. Yeah, he now. can't block, sorry. Yep. Oh, Ornithopter right. can. Dude, I'm such an idiot. Ornithopter a baller. Okay, well, I'm going to swing. Yeah, I'll swing with these two boys. Okay. I block the turtle with Ornithopter. And I take two from the elephant. Okay. Oh, that's right. Unless he would kill, he would kill the Ornithopter. Yep, unless you do something. Oh, I really can't okay. right now, unfortunately. <laughs> um, that's the end of my turn. This is gonna be this better to, you better pull some crazy shit, Sam, because I don't wanna like lame you out. <laughs> or have us, okay. I guess, lame each What's other this? out. It's Urza's fucking power plant. What happens to Tron when you draw only the same land? <laughs> tap, 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 tap. It's Jade Statue, baby. Oh, motherfuck. And then pass. Okay. Dude, all my hand is blue and I hate it. I'm going to... Boop! It's like... Play an yes, island. this deck is light on islands, but it's not empty of islands. I'm gonna Wait. play my Mock Sapphire. Mm hmm Okay, let's see what bullshit you whip out. I'm gonna tap both of those. And enchant my... Nope, I'm gonna wait. Sorry, sorry, I'm thinking too far ahead. You can't see a card if I pull it out of my deck, right? You can only see it if I drop it? Yep, okay. I did not see whatever you just good, did there. Good, good. No spoilers. No spoilers allowed. No spoilies. No spoilies. No oily spoilies. I do have my alt set up spectating, though. Um, Nick is my alt, by the way. Sweet. I am going to pass... Ooh, he's passing. I'm about to Son get of my a... ass kicked a little bit here, but that's okay. Hello, I'm Hello. passing. Hey, your... welcome. Sorry, it took How's so long. Um, they deconstructed our ice creams. Yeah, how is so it? So I ordered it in a waffle bowl. They gave me a separate container for the waffle bowl, the ice cream, and the caramel. Makes sense. <laughs> it's weird. They never do that before. Sorry. Also, Nick, how are you liking my Tron? <laughs> That's a pretty good Tron, if only it would accomplish something. Yeah, it's all power plant. All power Your plant, is no funny. island. Bringing up my boy, Prodigal Sorcerer. Ah, uh, it's <laughs> him. It begins. God damn it, it's this cotton again. And I am going to pass. Here we go. Tim has entered the battlefield. I'm on a timer now. That's a not going to help with that. A very slow, non-threatening timer. Albeit. Uh, oh, but just you wait, buddy boy. Just you wait. Jade statue number two. And we're passing. All right. <laughs> All right. Oh, that was a happy Playing noise. my planes. Tap six. Bring out. Obsianus, what? How? What is that? Obsianus Golem. Obstinacious. Obsianus yeah. Golem. Obsianus Golem. Obsianus. Mother freaking four six baby. And I Anus Golem? am going to tap my prodigal sorcerer to deal one damage to you. Ow. <laughs> and then I am going to pass. <sighs> Come on, Daddy Truly needs a, a new of the Titans. pair. Oh, oh, there we go. Now you're cooking with gas. Oh, I am so fucking gassy right now. You. Good God. How many beans did you eat today? One, two, three. And this. We're cloning Obsidian's Golem. Of course you are, you motherfucker. Skadoop. Wait, what? Oh. Interesting. So I can right click. Obsidian's Golem and make a clone of it. That's pretty cool, actually. That's sick. Mm. Okay. The power and of I guess technology. I don't need the clone card anymore. There we go. Alright. We truly live in the 21st century. Okay. And with that, we're gonna pass, baby. Very well.
So what did you talk about while I was gone? Uh, uh, not definitely not being racist or anything. Israel as a state. I'm gonna oh, cast just, control to, magic uh, to control your Ozzyanus Golem. So give him over to me. You're a monster. <laughs> Sorry. Um, that is an inch. Yeah, that's an enchantment though, so you gotta keep it with the Obsidianius. Okay, I will. Um, you know, just in case someone were to do something about that. Yeah, but you know, that's fine. That's okay. I can live with it. Um, move to combat. I am going to swing. I don't think you can swing with the Obsidianius you just got. Though. No, I'm just gonna swing with my first boy. And then uh, tap my Prodigal Sorcerer to deal one damage to you. Okay. Hmm. And the Sorcerer is Prodigal. Hmm. Hmm. This is good ice cream, though. Almost makes worth it, losing worth What's it. What's the flavor? Uh, caramel espresso chip. So I lose one from Prodigal Sorcerer, and I gotta decide: Do I want? I'll block Obsianius with the Ornithopter. Okay. Oop. And then it is your turn. Okay. Untap. Draw. Urza's tower. Who he's thinking? He's a stinky thinker. It's a clone. <laughs> what are you going to clone? I'm cloning the cloned Obsianus. <laughs> Attack You're going to clone the cloned Obsianus? Okay. Yes. Are we pronouncing that Which, right? Let us know in the comments. I don't think that has any tangible effect on the game. Not really, but I, I think it's kind of funny that you did it. <laughs> and then we're going to pass. Very well. I'm going to bring out... I... It's not a matter if it's if it's good or if you should. It's a matter of if it's funny. Exactly. It's a matter if Tom has another control magic in his hand. No, I think I only pulled one, unfortunately. Yeah, Daddy needs a Bad. new pair of rack right now. But what I will do is tap two to give invisibility to my one Obsidianus Golem, which means he can only be blocked by walls. Ooh, woo. Wow, that's then really stanky. Good I'm going God. to swing it with both Golems and tap my Prodigal Sorcerer. So I take one, I don't have a wall, so I will be taking our four. Mm -hmm. That is stanky. Yeah. Huh. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna pay two, turn Jade Statue into a creature, and both Obsianus Golem and the Jade Statue will block your Obsianus Golem. Oh, you can block with more than one creature? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so would that kill it? You can't kill either, and they killed Obsianus unless you have something that can buff it. Fuck, I should have waited. Um, because they do seven damage. Yep. Oh, so even if I Sam, I he's still gonna die. Yep. But wouldn't he kill? Because he no. does four damage. He's only got four power. Your creatures? Both those things have six toughness. They both have six. Oh, fuck, you're right. Yeah. Well, rest in peace, Golem. You still have an invisible Obsianus Golem, which is a big fucking which problem. Which did do four damage to you that you didn't yeah. take. <laughs> yeah, I was waiting until we finished combat Okay, there. all right. Well, I passed them. Okay. We I'm untap it. I think Tom's just actually the best magic player here. We yeah. draw yeah, a I'm miracle. A, I'm a sleeper gamer. Okay, so we have Tron. I don't think that helps too much right now. Just play, just play Ugin. Ah, Ugin. I'm getting some chicken wings after I kick your ass. I'm so excited. Yo, chicken wings. I love chicken They're wings. They're not good yeah, chicken wings. They're Buffalo Wild Wings, but you know. Oh. <laughs> I don't like it, but Tom's setting himself up to win right now. Ooh, baby. Hey, beat ups is beat ups. I think this is very similar to how I won last time. So I will, I will maybe go back to the drawing board and make a new deck because it gets boring, kind of watching the same thing like i didn't even i didn't even draw any like new cards they're new to us I, I mean like new artifact cards like that i got from the stack pole mm. okay i need to do some quick maps give me a second okay this is so stanky man 
very stinky. This is the stankiest I've ever seen. I think I think Sam's kind of in do or die mode right now. Prodigal sorcerer. Oh shit! He's got his own oh, Tim. No. My own strategy. Maybe Tron's just bad. Maybe Sam's just unlucky with his pulls. That too. He's got plenty Mayhaps. of mana. <laughs> he's got plenty of land. We know that much. Yeah, but he's probably got the wrong color. Yeah, more than likely. Yeah. Got anything else for us, Samuel? <laughs> Pass. Very well. Now, can Tom win this More turn? More than likely. It all depends what he's got going on as that last card in his hand. You're about to find out. It's another oh invisibility. I'm going to put it on oh, my war and that's and, game. and swing with both. And Tom is the winner oh, yet yeah. again. God damn it. Sorry. <laughs> Tom has won two weeks in a row. I'll make a new deck oh, next week. So, and there we go. We get the source of a big fucking mana. And I still don't have any good oh. outlets for it. Yeah. I was a little worried uh, when you had all well, those Congratulations, mines, But Tom. then I'm like, oh yeah, I have like 11 islands. This will not be an issue. <laughs> uh, and there it is. Yeah, congratulations, Thank you. Tom. Good job, Tom. I'm, I'm very You've done it. Very happy with my. I think you are just the best magic I, I'm player. I'm very here, happy with my cheesy limited player. Uh, blue magic enchant bullshit and uh, cause salt with prodigal sorcerer and oh, Samite healer strategy. <laughs> invisibility. God damn it. I love how these small little one one cards like can fuck with stuff so much. Okay, I, so I gotta I know. Did you draw, that. Tom? Did you draw invisibility this turn, or did you have it in your hand? Um, I actually have both invisibilities in my hand since, like, turn ah, two, I think, and I damn just it. kept them. Yeah, because last turn I was debating, do I swing out and ho and go that way, or do I buy one more turn and go that way? I was going to play invisibility on the war elephant early just to kind of scare you, but I figured it would be better to wait until I was sure I could do some more damage. Yeah, I think that was a good plan. God damn, yeah, because... Unlike the round against Nick, I did not draw into, like, the Primal Clays and shit. Yeah, Primal Clays are good. That would have given me I the wall got I needed. You definitely tried to get my oh. uh, Obsidian Scallops, though. I'm actually... For sure. <laughs> See, the funny thing is, for my deck, I'm actually running very few colored lands, so I'm surprised I pulled so many. I was trying to go hard and, like, colorless Tron, make a billion mana, and then fireball you out of the game. Oh, shit, yeah, you're trying the Tron fireball. I didn't even think of that. Yeah. Because I pulled a uh, uh, Candelabra of Taunos. So with that and Tron, you make infinite mana. Well, I think this is a very good... I don't remember what the Candelabra does. So uh, you pay X to, tap, to untap X target lands. Oh, wow. That's a bit insane. I forget if you had to tap the Candelabra or not. But even still, it's really busted with Tron. Because, you know, Tron makes seven mana when you only have three lands. Yeah. Uh, quick question, I'm sure I've asked this before, but as far as clone Yo. goes, um, if you clone a creature with enchantments on them, or like armor, do they keep that? The enchantments do not okay. come with. You only copy the creature. What what artifacts did I pull? But, Let me look. Um, but yeah, that was a fun week. Yeah. I liked the set a lot. Um, even though my strategy, funny strategy failed, that's okay. It's back to the drawing board of me. Oh my god, so okay. I had to pull... Uh, Eight more cards, but I finally got an artifact from this uh, from this booster pack, the Astronauts, Battle, Astronauts Gear, Battle Gear, which I really, Amazing. really wanted to use on the Golem, but oh well. Antiquity is really cool too, because I think it introduces a lot of like the lower important characters. Like, it's got more Urza stuff, it's got Astronaut stuff, it's got Tano stuff, it's got uh, I think they mentioned like the Phyrexian stuff in here Where as well. Where was my Wrath of the Gods? Just out of curiosity. Yeah, and then, Still so Nick, what is your card that you're going to ban? See, that's a toughie, because, like, I'm considering just nipping Tron at the bud now, because Tron will only get better with time. Like, just the ability to make seven mana off of three lands that's is just a little so, busted. so yeah. good. Yeah. I only grabbed but one of we... each. I should have grabbed more. Yeah, you very much could just kill Tron right now. Yeah, so that's an option, and like I don't have to play Tron. First, as a he thing kills either. Shahrazad. He's gonna kill Tron. 
strong. But so. I'm trying to think. Like, another thing that really, really did it this week, too, was... Like, Tron went out of control once he had a payoff for it, and that's concerning. But, like, some of, like, Tom's just, like, random enchantments, like invisibility Don't and do Tron it. and control magic are also Don't super fucking busted do as it. Well. Invisibility is stank. Don't do it! <laughs> Invisibility is really good Don't right now. get rid. It would ruin my entire deck. <laughs> How about you get rid of Obsidianius? <laughs> yeah, I could live with that. No, it's fine. That thing's get power crept at some point. It's just a four six or four. Get rid of Millstone. Four, six. <laughs> I don't like Millstone, but it's more annoying I'm than anything I had else. like three Millstones, and they must all be at the bottom of my deck. Well, they won't. They don't help you unless you're like really stalled out. Yeah, I think I'm gonna ban. Urza's tower. Oh, he did it. He killed Tron. <laughs> Tron is dead. We're killing Tron right away. I just can't let that go the thing on. Is because I'm dependent on especially once we get to like the Urza set. Yeah, neither am I. I can live without like, it. Because yeah, Tron does. Yeah, but like, I can't live without invisibility. Yeah. That shit's never leaving my deck until it gets banned. <laughs> but like, I'm thinking long term. Once we get into the Urza set, Tron is gonna be busted wide open again because that has another ton of just like good artifact stuff and just other. Because yeah, Urza sets also have Talarian Academy, which makes mana equal to the number of artifacts you control. Yeah. Yeah. I think we gotta kill Tower is the one I'm killing. Just it also it's funny. makes YouTube videos. Oh god, guys, I have breaking news uh, that to does. report. You know, in Japan they What's have that news? Super Nintendo World amusement park. Okay, yeah. well, like, one of the props is they have this big, like, Mario hill. It looks like something out of, like, Super Mario 3D Land. Um, yeah. And there's, a like, a four-stack Goomba Tower on it, right? But now mm -hmm. it's under investigation because it got knocked over. <laughs> and they want oh, to no. make sure, like, the person didn't do it. <laughs> Could you imagine being on like a roller coaster or like waiting to go on the Mario ride and like a, a, a stack of Goombas like like falls off the um, decoration of the mm -hmm. the roller coaster just like knocks you out cold? That'd be hilarious. That'd be amazing. And with that, that is all the time we have left this week. Next time, we're gonna be diving into Legends, the advent of legendary creatures. Three color creatures and my boy Nickel Bolas. And we'll I'm see about you then. to dive into Nickel some Bolas. Parmesan garlic wings. Here we go.